Are you prepared to hear about one of the most painful executions in history? It is a gruesome tale that involves the assassination of a French king, a fanatically devout Catholic, and a brutal execution that left an entire nation in turmoil. During the 1589 war between Catholics and Protestants in France, Jacques Clement, a member of the Dominican Order, assassinated King Henry III. Despite his success, Clement's victory was brief, and he was subjected to one of the most excruciating executions in history. So, what exactly happened to Jacques Clement, and why was his execution so brutal? Join us as we delve into this tragic tale and explore the wider implications of this violent act on French society. In 1589, France was in turmoil. King Henry III had been ruling for 15 years but had not managed to quell the ongoing wars of religion between Catholics and Protestants. Although Henry was a Catholic, he allied with the Protestant Henry of Navarre in an attempt to restore peace. However, this decision was highly unpopular with many of his Catholic subjects and led to him becoming increasingly isolated and vulnerable. Jacques Clement, a fanatically devout Catholic and member of the Dominican Order believed that it was his duty to rid France of Henry III, whom he saw as a heretic and a threat to the Catholic faith. He set out to assassinate the king, and on August 1st, 1589, he succeeded. But Clement's victory was short-lived. He was quickly caught by Henry's guards and subjected to a brutal execution. According to contemporary accounts, his body was stripped and tied to the back of a horse, which was then dragged through the streets of St. Cloud. His flesh was torn from his bones and his remains were scattered and left to rot in the town square. The assassination of Henry III and the subsequent execution of Clement had far-reaching consequences for France. With no clear air, the country was plunged into a new round of conflict as various factions jostled for power. Eventually, Henry of Navarre emerged victorious and became King Henry IV. He converted to Catholicism in order to secure his hold on the throne, famously declaring that Paris is worth a mass. The wars of religion continued for several more years. But Henry IV's reign marked the beginning of a new era of peace and prosperity for France. He oversaw the reconstruction of the country, encouraged trade and commerce, and worked to heal the wounds of the past. The story of Jacques Clement and his brutal execution serves as a reminder of the dangers of fanaticism and extremism. It also highlights the high stakes of political power struggles and the devastating impact they can have on individuals and societies. While Henry III's reign was marked by conflict and turmoil, his death ultimately paved the way for a new era era of peace and progress in France. The tensions between Catholics and Protestants in France during the 16th century were a source of great conflict, leading to numerous violent clashes and acts of terrorism. Clement's fanatical devotion to the Catholic League led him to plot the extermination of the Huguenots, who were French Protestants. However, his focus soon shifted to a larger plot to assassinate King Henry III in retaliation for the killing of the Duke of Guise, a prominent Catholic leader and his brother. Clement was promised great rewards if he succeeded in his mission. Still, he was told that he would still be rewarded in heaven if he failed. He was given letters to deliver to the king, and on July 31st, 1589, he left Paris for St. Cloud, where the king was besieging the city. Despite the presence of royal guards, Clement was able to gain access to the king by claiming to have important letters to deliver. He approached the king, pretending to whisper a confidential message in his ear, and then pulled out a dagger and stabbed him, mortally wounding him. The assassination of King Henry III was a shocking event that further escalated the already tense situation between Catholics and Protestants in France. It was seen as a direct attack on the monarchy and the stability of the country. The Catholic League, which had backed Clement's plot, was blamed for the assassination, and the League's leader, Catherine de Guise, was forced to flee to Italy to escape persecution. The death of King Henry III led to a period of political turmoil in France, as different factions vied for power and influence. It also paved the way for the rise of King Henry IV, a Protestant who eventually converted to Catholicism to secure his position as king. The assassination of King Henry III was a tragic and violent event that highlighted the deep-seated religious and political tensions that existed in France during the 16th century. It serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of extremism and fanaticism and the importance of tolerance, understanding, and peaceful coexistence between different religious and political groups. The assassination of King Henry III of France in 1589 was a horrific and bloody event that sent shockwaves throughout the country. The king had been 
been suffering from a wound, but his officers believed he would survive. However, the following day he died, leaving behind a nation in chaos. One of the most significant consequences of the assassination was the death of Jacques Clément, the man responsible for killing the king. Clément's execution was a gruesome and brutal affair, designed to serve as a warning to anyone who might seek to challenge the monarchy. His body was quartered, with each limb tied to a horse and pulled in different directions until he was torn apart. The remains were then burned at the stake in front of a crowd, making it clear that the punishment for regicide was severe. The reaction to the assassination was mixed. Some saw it as a horrific and unjustifiable act of violence, and the king's supporters sought to avenge his death. Others, however, viewed Clement as a martyr who had acted out of loyalty to the Catholic cause. He was even praised by the Pope for his actions, and some suggested that he should be made a saint. The assassination also had wider political implications. The attack on Paris, which was supposed to take place the day after the king's death, was postponed, causing chaos and confusion in the army. Many in the city believed that the king's death had been a sign from God, intervening to protect them from the impending attack. In the aftermath of the assassination, France was plunged into a period of instability and uncertainty. The Catholic League, which had been supporting the king, split into factions, with some supporting his successor, Henry IV, and others continuing to oppose him. The country was torn apart by civil war, and it would take many years before stability was restored. The assassination of Henry III of France remains a dark and tragic chapter in the country's history. It serves as a reminder of the dangers of political violence and the fragility of political power. The brutality of Clement's execution is a testament to the lengths that rulers will go to maintain their grip on power and the dangers that lie in challenging their authority. As we come to the end of our journey exploring the most painful execution ever, it's clear that the story of Jacques Clement and the assassination of King Henry III is a complex and tragic one. It reminds us of the dangers of extremism and fanaticism and the devastating impact that political power struggles can have on individuals and societies. The brutal execution of Jacques Clement serves as a stark warning of the consequences of violent acts and the importance of justice and due process. While the assassination of King Henry III was a shocking event that further escalated the religious and political tensions in France, it ultimately paved the way for a new era of peace and prosperity under King Henry IV. It's essential to learn from history and recognize the dangers of extremism and violence by promoting tolerance, understanding, and peaceful coexistence between different religious and political groups. We can work towards a better future for all. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has shed some light on this fascinating and tragic story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And as always, stay curious and keep learning.